Okay, so to get rid of these cube roots, we're going to raise it to the third on both sides, and then we get 4x minus 9 equals 2x minus 4. Let's solve it. Put our x's together, so I'll subtract 2x. Note, I'm subtracting 2x here because I want to keep the 2x positive. The goal in life is though you'll hit some negative moments. Here, I'm going to add 9. Though you'll get some negative moments, you want to do your best to stay positive. Because really, would you rather laugh or would you rather cry? I don't know, maybe I'm laughing so much that I'm crying. <laughs> Am I right? Anyways, x is 5 over 2. But how can I be certain? I can't. I must check. So, what I do is I'm going to do the cube root of 4 times 5 over 2 minus 9. Compare that to the cube root of 2 times 5 over 2. Ah, minus 4. Let's see what happens. So, uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 minus 9 is the cube root of that. It's definitely going to be the cube root of 1. The cube root of 1 is 1. But let me be clear here. Y'all are catching me doing a little too much math in my head. All I did was say four, 2 goes into 4 2 times, and 2 times 5 is 10. That's how I'm getting that 10 there. So that wasn't too complicated. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Uh, the 2's cancel out. Leaves me with the cube root of 5 minus 4, which is the cube root of 1. Which, by the way, means I can stop here and say it's true. But if I go one step further and get the answer, 1 is 1, and that's true as well. Cool. Awesome. The answer is 5 over 2. Ain't always pretty. See you in the next one.